today's Urbandum video, we are heading underground in the UK's capital to showcase two forgotten secrets. Four years ago, we had the chance to explore two of London's defunct transport lines that had remained in darkness for decades. Today, we are shedding light on the two tunnels to show you what has survived until now. Alistair, what? have you heard that 85% of people are not subscribed? Are you joking? They need to hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell to never miss a video. Hi everyone, just a brief announcement before this video begins. Obviously we have a huge catalogue of locations that we've filmed over the past five years and the backlog's always growing. During summer we have some more time so we decided to upload one video a week for the next six weeks and the video will be up every Friday at 6pm. To repeat, that's a brand new video every single week. The last time we did this was uh, winter 2018 so um, I hope you're as excited as we are to see constant content from us. Today's this release takes us back to 2019, showcasing two locations that you would never realise are right under your feet. It was a cold night in 2019, and myself and Reese had met up with some more local explorers with the aim of accessing some of London's lost underground system. It had been something we had wanted to do for a while, but without too much knowledge of the correct way to go about it, we were glad to be accompanied by some people more familiar with the area. So somewhere under our feet now, literally under our feet, is where we're trying to go one of the old entrances to what was a tram tunnel. The tram line we wanted to enter ran beneath a road packed with cars, so it was important for us to bide our time before the opportunity to infiltrate the tunnel finally arrived. So we're inside this tram tunnel. Dodgy, dodgy access, but no, pretty straightforward physically. Um, and now we're in, and you can see the light at the end of the tunnel over there, which is where the main part of this site is. Quite a hefty walk towards it, with the sounds of cars just going above your head. It's quite atmospheric. Quite a lot of crap in the way, but this is the old platform. Tram would head downhill from here, that way. You can see like, the old advertisement boards, although there's nothing on them. Uh, the exit stairs, or the entrance stairs. The old um, underground uh, sign. And then stuff like this as well. Oh wow, this is cool. What we didn't realise at the time was that the underground sign, as well as these papers, that appeared to date back to a wartime era, were likely to be from a period in 2009 when the platform was used for filming. Yeah, yeah. I've only just noticed these. Walking past you, hardly notice them, but just this little bit of text that's left. House. Maybe picture house, I'm not sure. Obviously adverts though. You can see where they all were. And there's some strange bits of it left. 
It says auction, I think. Saturday, August 18. Sixth day of August, 18. That is from the 1800s, I think. That is insane. The way they're presented is almost like one of those uh, Western wanted posters you'd see in the old movies. It's so old. The tram tunnel was constructed in the early 1900s and operated for a little over 50 years. It was an important build, allowing for the continuous 12 minute journey from north to south of its destinations, whilst also allowing horse-drawn carriages at the time to use the overhead road. In the 1920s, double-decker trams were introduced, which meant that the tunnel was deepened to permit more passengers aboard each carriage. During the 30s, vehicles like diesel buses and trolleys would replace trams, and London's system was decommissioned in 1952. Since then, the small underground line has been abandoned for more than 60 years. Cars drive over this thing. <laughs> so loud. I bet barely anyone knows that this just lies down here under the grids. I'm heading downhill. See the details of the tile in there, but there's nothing in that room. It's more of just what this was rather than what's in it. That's the interesting part about this place. This is quite cool. You can see the two tracks really clearly here. As they meet from their uh, curves and travel side by side. We've been told that puddle in front the large one. If we travel past that, then there's sensors, so obviously we don't want to do that. Before the tunnel was used for filming, there were plans to bring it back into use as a modern tram line, but this didn't go ahead. As water seeps in from the streets above, it is uncertain what will end up happening to the historic line. It was time for us to leave, as it was very late into the night. Despite this, the roads were still abundant with the cars that had pushed the tunnel into disuse, so we had to slip back onto the surface quickly. Across the city, you find us in another tunnel system a few hours earlier. We didn't plan to film a full video here, but looking back, putting these two underground sites together makes a nice collaboration. Um, so many noises down here because the lights are on. It's probably just the generator for the lights, but it's creepy to say the same. These tunnels are endless as well. At the end of that corridor, there's someone's hive is. This train tunnel is much further below ground than the tram line, and we are forced to take a long ladder into the system to reach the derelict region. It's all the way down there.
can hear the trains. Even though it's, it is disused, you can hear the trains in the live bits that are like nearby through the walls and it all echoes. It's such an unreal experience though. Like where else are you gonna get into a situation like this? Crazy. Running under a canal and the active mainline rail, this track served as a transport route for empty steam carriages without passengers aboard. It was necessary so the movements of trains wouldn't disturb the busy schedule on the main lines. However, with it not required anymore, the line was disused around 20 years ago and has been a ghostly chamber ever since. The distinctive noises of the tube was audible through the walls, creating a one-of-a-kind atmosphere. However, with the tunnel looking the same throughout, we didn't film a great deal. Once we had crossed to where the line meets the overhead track, we turned back around. It had been a memorable night in the capital, exploring two places that we don't come across often. Mixing the huge chambers void of humanity and sound with the distant echoes of trains and cars forms a spectacle you can only find in this situation, a real urban exploring marvel. It is unlikely that the purpose-built sites will find another use anytime soon, and we would predict they will continue to lie empty for years to come. Here are some of our photographs from the abandoned transport lines. If you like the look of them, check out our Instagram page in the description, where we share images from our explores months before they are seen on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We hope you're as excited as we are for weekly uploads for six weeks. Don't miss the busiest period on the abandoned channel for years. See you next time.